Despite their numerous difficulties, Colleen Rooney says she and her husband Wayne's love for one another has never waned during their 15-year marriage. It is this love that has proved a foundation during their rockiest moments, which she admits have at times meant keeping their relationship together has been a battle. We've had our ups and downs, says Colleen, in a remarkably candid chat. Obviously everybody knows. It's been hard to go through it in the public eye but there has always been love there. If the love is gone then, you know, it's pointless. But if not, you've got something to work for. In a new interview with Vogue magazine, who she welcomed to the family of Six's £20 million, six-bedroom mansion in Cheshire, Colleen admits the couple have weathered storms that hit her questioning their longevity. It's been a battle at times, she reveals. I look at, any, situation we're in and think, could we move forward from that? Is it worth moving forward from that? I don't just give up. Colleen, 37, jokes she has even remarked that her husband's infidelities put her in a better stead to cope with his misbehavior. We've never backed away from it, she continues. We own it. I remember having a conversation about this with someone and I said, well, do you know what your wife gets up to every day and night? At least I know what my husband's doing. It mightn't be good, but I know. People lie to themselves. Colleen and Wayne, 37, were living on Liverpool's Croxteth estate when they first met, at the age of 12. They were dating by the time they were 16, and went at 22. But they have been dogged by reports of Wayne's misdemeanors from when he was still in his teens, when he first apologized for visiting brothels. After becoming a father for the first time, he paid two prostitutes for a threesome. One, Helen Wood, went on to win a series of Big Brother in 2014. Wayne is said to have regretted his infidelity immediately. In 2017, he was arrested for drink driving in the company of another woman, while Colleen was pregnant with their fourth child, Cass. He received a two-year driving ban and 100 hours unpaid work after pleading guilty to the stupid mistake. In 2018, the family moved to Washington, D.C. when Wayne signed for to D.C. United, for whom he is now head coach. But in December that year, he was arrested for being intoxicated on a flight. His spokesman said he was left disorientated by prescribed sleeping tablets. The couple have a close-knit circle of friends and are both extremely close to their families, to whom they turned for support during last year's blockbuster Wagatha Christie trial between Colleen and Rebecca Vardy. Yet the explosive high court showdown put yet another added strain on their marriage. Colleen says of Wayne, he was supportive, you know, but it took its toll. He kept saying all the way throughout it, don't worry, you'll be fine. But there were certain moments where we did have disagreements. Not over the case, but he would get annoyed with me because I was quite short-tempered. I didn't have time for him. Wayne warned Colleen she no longer seemed herself as preparations for the trial heated up in autumn 2021, and her father told her one afternoon, you look ill. During the three-week trial, Colleen was forced to revisit difficult times during their marriage, including the aftermath of Wayne's 2017 drink-driving arrest, which had led to her posting one of the photos she claimed Rebecca's account had leaked to the press. She revealed the couple had briefly split, and told the court, there had been a situation which was wrongdoing by my husband, but I was in a vulnerable situation. I didn't know how my marriage was going to work out. But of all the revelations, 
Colleen says she was most sickened to read vile texts between Rebecca and her agent about using her late sister Rosie, who died at 14 from the genetic brain development disorder Rett syndrome, as a peg to give her an excuse to message her. They were just another level, she says of the messages. When I was reading them I was thinking, the evilness and the hatred that they had for someone that they don't even know. Now, Colleen reveals she is writing a new tell-all book, having signed with Penguin for an autobiography due out at Christmas, which will follow her Disney Plus series. She explains, I felt like everyone else has spoken about it except me. And it's my story to tell. The September issue of British Vogue is available via digital download and in newsagents from Tuesday, 